everybody, this is Michelle Fox and welcome back to The Simple Quilter. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make half square triangles without using papers. You won't need anything other than just your regular quilting tools to make these half square triangles. Now, if you are interested in making half square triangles using triangle paper, please see the video above. I have done a video on that. Today it's just going to be making those without any type of paper. I had a subscriber request this, so that's today's topic. Now before we get started on that, last week I showed you the panel behind me, and I'll step aside again so you can see it. It's a super cute Mickey and Minnie Mouse panel. And uh, I've had it up here for a while and I've been trying to think of what to do. I, of course, thought about adding some border borders with some cute things in the cornerstones. But if you have any ideas for what I should do with this panel, you let me know. Now, please keep in mind, I do want to make it a bigger quilt. I don't want to just make it a baby quilt or a lap quilt. I want to make it into at least a big twin size quilt. So. If you have any thoughts about what to do with this panel, put them in the comments below. Okay, now let's cover some supplies that you're going to need. Now, um, these are the fold-away mats that I've made, and I've shown a video how to make these, so if you're interested in that, please see those in the description below. You can also use the cheaper version that I showed you how to make, but I do use a sandpaper board for marking my half square triangles. You're going to need, of course, a pen, and as you all know, I like to use the Bic Velocity pens, the mechanical pencils. Um, you are going to need a ruler. Now, I've showed you several, I'm going to show you several different kinds you can use. You can use any of the ones that you have. You can use one of your squares, you can use a small one, you could even use your 12 and a half by six and a half inch ruler. You don't have to have any specialty rulers, but I do want to show you the rulers that are my favorite to use for marking half square triangles. And that is the Creative Grids nine inch seam guide tool. I really like this. This tool can be used to mark up to a six and a half inch square going diagonally. And uh, this is my favorite tool. I like creative grids because they're just easiest for me to see. Now I do have some other tools here. Um, this was called the Quilter's Magic Wand. And these are the seam guide rulers too by a different company. And they're just a smaller and a larger one. And of course, as you can see, you could definitely do more than a six and a half diagonal mark um, using this larger one. But I'm going to be showing you how to do this with just these little creative get grid rulers and just a simple plain ruler that you have. Okay, so some other things you're going to need. You'll need a cutting mat, you're going to need a rotary cutter, um, some pins, and then I will have a little iron and an ironing mat out here. And you're going to need some squares, um, of course, of contrasting colors, a light and a dark. I mean, I guess you could do a dark and a light or a dark and a dark if you want, but I'm going to be using a dark and a light. So I want to make a three inch unfinished half square triangle. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start out with squares that are one inch larger. Now you could use a smaller, a little bit smaller size. You could go as much as just a half an inch bigger, but I really like to go three fourths to an inch bigger because I like to trim it down so it's just the perfect size and then I don't have to worry about it not being just the perfect size. I like to trim mine down, but you can do however you want to do on that. So I want to make a three inch half square triangle, so I'm going to use two four inch squares. Now the first thing you need to do is you need to take your seam guide, and this has little lines on it that you're going to use to 
line it up to the corners. You're going to line those up right there to the corner and then you're simply going to make a mark with your mechanical pencil on either side of that on the wrong side of your light. Then you're just going to put your two fabrics with right sides together. I always pin mine just a little bit. You don't have to go overboard with panning, but just enough to hold it in place. And you are simply going to go sew on the line. Now, as you can see, I've sewn on the line already. You can see on both sides. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my ruler, any of my rulers, and I'm going to line, line them up from the point to the point. And I'm just going to cut. Then you have two half square triangles and these will simply need to be pressed open and trimmed up. Now, I do want to show you another way to do this just using any ruler that you have. You can simply take your ruler line it up from point to point to make a line. Then you can just measure a fourth of an inch from there and draw a line. A fourth of an inch on the other side and draw a line. Line your fabrics up and then sew on the outer lines and then the middle line will simply be the line you cut on. So as you can see you don't have to have the 9 inch seam guide ruler. You can do it with any ruler that you want and you can do it really with a just about any size of square. And remember if you want a 3 inch half square triangle make your squares 3 fourths to 1 inch larger. I prefer to do the one inch, so if I want a three inch half square triangle, then my squares I cut at four inches. Okay, so I just want to take a minute to show you how to press this. I've showed you how to press triangles in my some of my other videos, but I'm going to show you again. So the first thing you're going to do is just set the seam. And then I just fold that back a little bit and go straight up. Then I come down here and I go straight over. And then I lift up the iron and I press straight down. Now the thing you don't want to do, you don't know, want to go across this way. That is what distorts your half square triangles. Okay, and there is your nicely pressed half square triangle. So, remember I wanted a 3 inch half square triangle. So I'm just going to get out one of my Creative Grid square rulers. And I'm just going to trim down to 3 inches. Now see, I could easily do 3 and a half inches. But I'm just going to do a three inch half square triangle. Now when you line this up, the line going diagonally, you want to be sure that that lines up and it's going diagonally across your block. All right, so I'm just going to go up and over. I'm going to turn my block. 
I'm putting this line right on the seam. This is on the three, that's on the three, and I'm going to go up and over. And there you have it, a half square triangle. So th this is a great method of making half square triangles, especially if you don't have a ton to make, or if you don't have papers, or if you just have small pieces of fabric uh, with which to work. Please don't forget to check out the So Many Quilty Things Ixy website listed in the description below. The t-shirts that I wear in my videos come from that shop. If you use the coupon code, you can get 15% off all quilting and sewing apparel. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you've enjoyed today's video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Please share with a friend. And as always, leave a comment. I love to get the comments and I try to reply to each and every one. So until next time, have fun quilting.